Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, oh my goodness, I have the biggest surprise ever. Y'all aren't gonna believe it. Oh my goodness, look. Guys, look. This is not a turtle, this is a tortoise. And I promise it's a tortoise this time. This is not like last time when I made a mistake and thought I had a tortoise, but I really had a turtle. I promise you this is a tortoise this time. Look at it. Guys, look at it, it's so adorable. Oh my goodness. It's so itty bitty. I cannot believe it, guys. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me tell y'all the story of this little girl right here. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is my first time seeing it in person. So, Megan's brother, Mikkel, actually has had this tortoise for how long? Like a week? Two weeks? Two weeks. About two weeks. And I've seen many videos on FaceTime of the tortoise, but... It's usually at an angle like this, and it looks a lot bigger whenever you hold the phone up close to it. But then when you really zoom out, that just kind of shows how tiny it is. Like, look how, look how it fits in Megan's hand. It's so itty bitty. I am like shocked. I did not realize it was this small from all, right, all the times. Yeah, this I, might even be better a comparison to my tattoo because my tattoo is small. A little tiny wrist tattoo. And and the, it's, oh my she's goodness. Just long as it. So itty bitty. So this is Kenya. It is a female. And like I said, it is a tortoise. And I promise you it's actually a tortoise this time. The reason that we know this is because for one, I want you to take a look at the little legs right here. And the legs are a lot longer and they go a lot further down from the shell than a turtle's would. That's something that we learned last time when I had the turtle is that it has kind of little swimmy legs, but this one has a little more, what's the word, stubby has stubby kind of legs that are meant for walking on land. Turtles have kind of almost like flippers that are meant to tread water so they can swim well in the water because turtle or, turtles are not meant to be land animals like these. So let me put her down. Let me just show you how she walks. Not much to say, guys. I just gotta sit here and let y'all watch. This is amazing. I'm actually in love. I'm really jealous right now. What's sad is that I was gonna surprise you with one for Christmas. I know. Look at you go so fast. Man, this thing gets around quickly. Girl, look at them legs. She's a lot friendlier. She, the like the first week that Mikkel had her, she was hiding a lot and she's gotten a lot friendlier. I think Rika likes to hold her a lot. So Rika socializes her a lot. Mikkel is busy at work. Let's let y'all watch from the top point of view just to see how fast she travels and gets around. Look at that. She's hardly bigger than even a common house fly. Y'all see that? I was going to like, She's barely to my shoe. Like, she's smaller than Megan's itty bitty feet. Seven. Seven. Kenya. Kenya, where are you going? Oh, she sees plants. She wants plants. I don't know if that's poisonous or not. No, ma'am. Go that way. Wow, the attitude. <laughs> Look at this little thing. Have you noticed that animals give me attitude? All the animals. They do. Finnegan, Loveland, the goats, Kenya. She's not even my pet. Guys, this is just intriguing. This is blowing my mind. There's no other way to explain it. Like, I hope that y'all share the same intrigue that I share because not everybody likes reptiles and turtles and tortoises and stuff like that a lot of people think that they're gross they're weird they are scary looking dinosaurish i've heard all kinds of different mean labels thrown at them but i personally think as long as it's not deadly like a snake or a spider that it's that i'm all in on at least learning about them so you know what scared me about the the turtle that you brought is because she was slimy because she's a water turtle. She was slimy and kind of wet and just, it was just kind of gross. But tortoises, they're, they're not water. I mean, she does have a water dish, but that's like a totally like care thing. She's totally dry. Like even if I feel her like little like stuff, like she's dry. That's why I'm okay with She's not even a biter too. So I can pet her head as you can see. Let me, let me show y'all. Let me just pet her head right quick with my finger. She doesn't even really seem bothered by it. Oh, this is adorable. This is amazing. So jealous. She's biting my shirt. She just bit my shirt, you guys. Do y'all see that? She literally just bit my shirt. It is so small. My little itty bitty hands literally dwarf her. 
because my hands are not very big at all. You looking around, you exploring little Kenya. I read they do have nerve endings on the shell, so she can feel me petting her like this. Trying to bite. Look at her biting my shirt. You gonna eat that? Does it look like a little vegetable because it's green? They do love, oh, she pooped on me. That's gross. That's okay. I'll wash it off. I'll be fine. I'm too in love and in awe to care about that. Look at you go, Kenya. I'm guessing she's named Kenya because she's from there. Kenya is a country in Africa, for those of you that didn't know. You know what's crazy, you guys, honestly, is that, don't get me wrong, I love animals, but I'm not one of those people that can just sit and watch animals all day. My mind is always very, it's always racing. I have a very active brain, so it has to always be stimulated by something very intense, whether it be football, like playing a sport, playing a video game maybe, even watching a show. And so people like Megan and like my dad, they can just sit there with the animals for hours and hours and hours and just kind of enjoy the cool breeze, the peaceful sounds of nature. And they're perfectly content doing that. But no matter how hard I try, within about five or 10 minutes, I get bored and I can't do it anymore. It doesn't mean that I don't love the animals, don't get me, don't get me wrong. But like what I'll do is I'll go and see my animals to make sure that they're okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Kenny, you just tumbled over. That wasn't very cool. I'll go check on whatever animals I'm responsible for caring for for five, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. But then once I know they're good, once I've gotten a little video of them, because I love sharing all the animal adventures that I get into with you guys, once I get a little video so I know that I've shared, I have something to share with y'all, and I kinda enjoy watching them for a few minutes, I go about my day. But this tortoise right here is honestly like the closest I've ever gotten to being able to sit there and just watch something. This feels very weird. This must be how my dad and Megan feel all the time. Because prior to this, I did not have that gift or have that ability. Does that make sense? Are any of you like me? I doubt it. I think most of you are probably like my dad and Megan. That's the reason that y'all are here right now watching uh, animal video is because y'all can sit there and watch them for forever if you had the chance. So I'm getting a slight taste into what it feels like to be a normal animal lover, I guess. <laughs> All right, Kenya, it's time to put you back in your exhibit. Mikhail's at work right now, so hope he doesn't mind that I had a little visit with you. Guys, I, I don't even feel like myself. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, you guys. I don't want to let her go. Me and Megan got to go home. We got things we got to do. I don't want to leave her, though. This who Literally, who am I right now? This is not me. I'm not normally like this. <sighs> Goodbye, Kenya. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Maybe you can have babies with a different tourist, and I, and I can take the babies, possibly. Oh, I think that's highly likely in a year or two. Highly likely in a year or two. Yes. Because that's that's how we got the tortoise. My aunt and uncle have a male, and they got they ordered the tortoise from Mikel. But he's done really good with the setup. Like he fully did all the research. She's got a heat started. Hot yeah. Heat. All right, patience, Ellie. You can wait a year or two, maybe. She can't show me any FaceTime videos anymore. I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, hope y'all enjoyed seeing little Kenya. Hopefully, in a year or two, y'all will be seeing another one of these on my channel permanently. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you'd like to see. We hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Elio.